scored double figures last night to help them beat the Kings 136-117 to 117 at the AT&T Center. The Spurs led the entire game. DeJounte Murray scored 26 points. The Spurs shot 53% from the floor overall and 56% from three-point range. They had 34 assists and just eight turnovers. That's a recipe for success now. They'll get ready to face the Mavs tomorrow night at 7.30 for the third time this season, looking to finally beat Dallas. Um, absolutely. Uh, you know, playing this game, we got to let the transition over to the next one. We can't get too high, can't get too low. Um, we got to find that balance of just knowing every game is going to be a dogfight, and uh, we can't expect to always win. You know, we got to go out there and put forth our effort and play the best to our capabilities. So, going into Dallas, you know, they had a few close wins against us, and I think we're just ready to play. Dallas lost at Chicago last night, 117-107. to 107. Zach Levine led the Bulls in points and 360 slam dunks. They are tied for the best record in the East. Several local high school student athletes were all smiles yesterday during National Signing Day. Judson softball great Keely Williams signed her NLI to Texas A&M to play softball and get an education. We were all over the city to cover these signings, including best friends going to TCU for volleyball. Um, it's just pretty special because everyone that showed up, they mean something to me and they've helped me along this journey to get to the place where I am. It's a very special day. I feel like I've been working for this my whole life since I was eight. I've all, it's been my dream to play D1 softball, commit to play to a really nice school and I love it. I'm so excited to play for McNeese State. They're such a special program and I can't wait. My verbal commitment was during COVID, so I committed in the morning time of on September 1st of my junior year. Arizona State saw me. Uh, they they liked my leadership on on the court and just getting people into the right spots and just being being able to have a positive attitude no matter what's happening in the game. Always coming out of high school, I uh, I strive to be like my brothers. Older brother went D3, middle brother went D2, so I had to carry on the legacy and go D1. Yeah, my best friend, so it's even better. It's cool to like experience that and be able to go through this process of like growing and getting better for TCU and being ready to go together. It's it's very exciting. We've um, you know we've committed around the same time, so we've been waiting around the same time for this moment, and it's finally come. And how about this? A 105-year-old Louisiana woman now holds a world record in the 100-meter dash. Retired teacher Julia Hawkins took the top spot for the race at the Louisiana Senior Games. Her win also established an age 105 and older category. At age 101, she won the 100-meter dash at the USA Track and Field Outdoors Masters Championship. And in 2019, she won two gold medals for races at the Senior Games in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hawkins said, quote, I want to keep running as long as I can, end quote. Now her record yesterday was a little over one minute and two seconds and she was bummed because she wanted to do it in less than a minute. Oh, oh wow. So she'll be back probably. I think she'll be back. That's the secret right there, she's staying active. Already started training today. Yeah. She's it's amazing. All right, Larry, thanks. And right. we're gonna check in with Mike and Fiona. <laughs> yes. Good afternoon, and it's mm -hmm. all about the veterans today. Yes. And boy, we've got a packed show. Mm -hmm. We are honoring veterans on this Veterans Day, and of course, celebrating veteran-owned businesses. Yes, indeed. And we have a couple of. Uh, first of all, we've got a list of discounts for veterans. Boy, this is as long as your arm. Great things, so you're gonna want to pay attention to that. Plus, we have a, a couple of veteran-owned businesses here, and these two gentlemen, David Holland, Tim Jensen. Welcome, gentlemen. And Thank you, Bruce, and special. Beer, right? We do, yeah. We're a small brew pub in uh, Leon Valley and we uh, brew beer to honor the history and culture of U.S. Army Special Forces. All right, and Tim, you have got some patriotic apparel. We absolutely do, and I like to be, I like to say it's the best patriotic apparel, and our mission is to instill pride in self, pride in military, and pride in country. Former Marine and former uh, Green Beret over there, and also... This Air Force veteran is behind Sunshine Woodworks and is adding fun to any home with his custom yard games, all meant to bring families together for a good time. And speaking of family and friends, we want you to give a big shout out to all the veterans in your life. If they are wearing the uniform or have worn the uniform, send in a picture because we want to make sure we show them off. That and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live. So stick around. We'll see temperatures level out today. We're thinking a high of 76. Sunny skies still a bit breezy today. 76 tomorrow. Then a shot of some cooler air for the weekend, 69 on Saturday, 76 Sunday. Great stretch of weather here. We will get some more moisture next week. 
that means maybe a little bit more cloud cover, some patchy fog, but rain for now stays out of the forecast, guys. Thank you, Justin. A good weekend for a car wash. Yes, it is. And it's a good day to honor our veterans. And that was is what Mike and Fiona are going to do during SA Live. And it starts right now. Indeed, we are. Today on SA Live, there's a new bar concept in town. We get a taste of the new menu. Plus, we get a preview of the most prominent arts festival in South Texas. Luminaria is happening this weekend. You won't believe what these local artists have put together. And businesses across the Alamo City are honoring active military and veterans today and every day of the year. So we put together a list of discounts veterans can enjoy. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Yes, indeed. There's a couple of the veteran business owners that are going to be on the show today. Again, representing Green Beret and the Marines right there. And yeah, crack a beer. You deserve it, gentlemen. Hello and happy Thursday, everyone. And of course, happy Veterans Day. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorostiza. Well, our first veteran-owned business today is a brewery which honors the history, culture, and veterans of U.S. Army Special Forces and or Green Berets. owner of Long Tab Brewing Company, David Holland, and joins us to talk about what you have brewed up for Veterans Day. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. And of course, thank you for <laughs> yes, your service. Thank, thank you. Service. Appreciate it. Thanks right. for having me. What did you bring today? Uh, so a couple of different uh -huh. things. Uh, I, brew, uh, we, I brought uh, a bunch of cans uh, from uh, some of the dedication beers that we do, um, and also uh, a, sub a sampling of some of the beers that we currently have on tap. Okay, the dedication beers, and mm -hmm. those are folks that, uh, are they all Medal of Honor winners or no. Special Forces? No, um, uh, two of them are Medal of Honor winners. The rest of them are uh, Green Berets or other significant figures that, uh, uh, that we, um, you know, have recognized. So and far. you may recognize, if I can get the, this can right one. there, Roy yeah. Benavides. Yep. I actually had the uh, honor of meeting him about 20 years ago or something like that, yep. a, a Medal of Honor winner from Vietnam. That's right, that's right. All okay. right, and then some of the proceeds go to? Um, uh, they go to charity. Uh, every, uh, every dedication uh, beer that we do, uh, we work really closely with the family and the teammates uh, on the style of beer, uh, the label of the beer, uh, the name of the beer and uh, and also the charity that uh, that we um, uh, that we support through that dedication. So it's been a handful of different charities so far. Wonderful. And how did you get started brewing? I love this story. <laughs> so please share it. <laughs> uh, so uh, my wife is a cancer survivor. So she um, uh, she was undergoing treatment. She couldn't leave the house, and so she wanted to buy me um, a gift for a Father's Day. And so she was looking through a catalog. She saw a beer kit. And uh, so that's how, that's how I got started. Uh, there's some discussion as to how long it sat in the sat in the closet, whether it was six months for or a year and a half. Depending she, on who you ask. Depending <laughs> on who you ask, you know. I think it was six months. She said a year and a half. So. Okay. You got six cold ones yep. here. I can't let a cold yeah. beer sit in front of me without cracking it open. Which one is the best one to uh, taste of some of your? Which one's oh, man, popular they're, one? They're 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 all good. So okay. uh, what we can do is start with the one that we're releasing today, the Regiment, uh, which is in uh, honor of Veterans Day. This is the second one here. Oh, this, this one, one right okay. here. Yep. And uh, that one, even right though, I don't mind my nails, sorry. <laughs> even though we are a brewery that uh, recognizes uh, Green Beret history, that one is actually in honor of uh, all service members. Wonderful. So, yeah, and it's a it's a West Coast style IPA, mm -hmm. and uh, the um, uh, the hops that we use in that beer generates funds for charity. Okay. And, you know, you do more than just beer. You have a full menu to order from. You even right. have a coffee bar, too, right? That's right. Yeah, when we started, we knew we wanted to do, uh, we knew we wanted to serve nice. coffee. And, uh, uh, and we wanted to uh, use a veteran coffee roaster. So uh, this is uh, uh, Di Espresso Liber, which is a play on the, the Special Forces motto, Di Oppresso Liber, which means it's Latin for liberate the oppressed. And so this is a good friend of mine. He's uh, uh, he was in first group, and uh, he roasts some fantastic coffee. So we serve veteran veteran roasted coffee as well. And, and then on top of that, I was going to say a whole menu uh -huh. here too. And the one thing that caught my eye: the Bamberg style stuffed onion. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We we actually uh, uh, serve that uh, during the release of the Too Easy Stevie, which is this German Rosh beer. It's a smoked lager, uh, which. Um, uh, this beer, this one right here on the end, is um, uh, 
uh, brewed in honor of Stephen Cribben. Uh, that's our latest dedication beer. And uh, his uh, spouse asked us to, ha to have those, uh, that onion on the menu, so we did it. Oh, really? Yep. So you order that, you got to order that beer, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I got to take a sip. Yeah, they go <laughs> great together. 30 years in the uh, Green Beret, huh? That's correct. Yep. Got, got any stories you can share? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a registered architect in the state of Texas? I am still a registered architect what? in the state of Texas. <laughs> when you oh. find time to do that? <laughs> uh, Here and there? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that smoky flavor of that. Yeah, that's a, that, that is. Uh, that wow. actually has uh, applewood smoked malt in it. Mm. Which one is this? And, uh, this one which is the dark one, yeah. It gives, it gives that beer its unique character. Um, oh, I could see that onion dish going with that. Pairs really well. Oh, that would go great. Yep. No, you're right. And where are you located? Mm -hmm. uh, we are just inside the loop on uh, 410 and Bandera in a little place called Timco Business Park. All right. And folks can order food to go? Food to go, mm -hmm. food to, and beer to go. All right. <laughs> Oh, that beer would go good, that pretzel too. I'm just doing it here. For more information on Long Tab Brewing, head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And we have provided a link and can't go without saying thank you so much for your service, thank you. sir. Appreciate it. All right. All right. So it is Veterans Day, okay? And of course, we would like to see the service members in your life. Yes, indeed. Send in a picture, if you would, because we got to show them off. And there we have, I don't recognize, is that JC? Was that your dad? Oh, your dad. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. There's my mom and dad. My dad was in the uh, in the Navy back right at the very end of World War II, and that is. These are some of SA Live, the SA Live crew members. Okay. Family. I was trying to recognize, see if I, I recognize who's, uh, who's <laughs> like dad. Like who they might look like. Yeah, who they might look <laughs> like. You there, love so. that game. Okay, but let us know uh, and and share those. Give a shout out to the veterans in your life. Show them at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we hope to see those a little later on in the show. Yes, indeed. Well, there are so many veteran-owned businesses in and around San Antonio, and, uh, you know, we want to put the spotlight on one of those. It is called Sunshine Woodworks. This father, husband, and Air Force veteran is adding fun to any home with his custom yard games, all custom-built, all meant to bring families together for a good time. Our Jen Tobias Trusky has this local spotlight. <laughs> We have a lot of uh, family cookouts and barbecues at the house and friends over. Uh, we needed a little bit more entertainment in the backyard. Uh, so I went online and I Googled family entertainment, backyard fun. Uh, I learned real, real quick on how to build a Jenga set and a washer set out of the minimal tools that I had. Long story short, I just started making games. I figured out that they do sell. And next thing I know, uh, I have business cards, social media pages, and um, a, a pretty good following. <laughs> Hector Santiago is making a name for himself, creating backyard games with a custom touch. It's a hobby he started back in 2016, growing into a business he proudly calls Sunshine Woodwork. Um, so my mom used to sing us sunshine, you are my sunshine, uh, every night before bed, me and my little brother. Uh, so I still do the same thing with my kids and keeping it as, you know, a family business and trying to, you know, teach them along the ways and maybe one day they can, you know, take the reins and keep the tradition going of Sunshine Woodworks. Uh, it was easy to just to pick Sunshine Woodworks and the name itself just means a lot to, to, to myself and my kids. I am a veteran. Uh, I did do, I spent 13 years active duty in security forces in the United States Air Force. I am still in the reserves. And if you're wondering what the best part about this experience is for Santiago. Favorite part, to be completely honest, is the, uh, the customer's reaction, the responses I get. I think that's the best part. Coming out here and being able to tinker with all this stuff, definitely therapeutic. Uh, it's good to get away. Not necessarily get away, but just like come out here and just like, it's kind of like my zen type stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I just enjoy doing it. Uh, we make Jenga in two different sizes. We have Jumbo and we have Junior. Your Jumbo is going to be your standard size that you would see at any kind of restaurant uh, or bar or brewery. Uh, and your Junior size is uh, going to be a little bit more kid friendly. Uh, it's a little bit more lighter and a little bit more easier to move around. And we also make washers, three hole and one hole. Uh, we make ladder golf and hook and ring and Yahtzee. 
Santiago takes his orders online through his social media pages, but he also has inventory available at the Bernie Trading Company off Main Street in Bernie. The good things about the, the, the yard games that we make, um, they're year round. They're for any occasion. They're good for uh, anything for a gift. They're good for a Father's Day gift. They're good for a birthday gift. They're good for a Christmas gift. Uh, they're also good for any kind of tailgating. Um, you've got, you know, around here, your river trips. You've got camping, um, a lot of popular, anything outdoors, this can do. This is just one of many veteran-owned businesses in and around San Antonio that you can show support for. Uh, we've had quite a few uh, good ratings uh, on our Facebook page. Those are the things that, that keep me going. For SA Live. Ultimately, I, I could see this being my retirement plan. I mean, just something to keep me busy whenever I'm retired. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. Great family games right. to get family I love it, I love together. it, I love it. So Santiago said that he was taking Christmas orders starting back in August, and the cutoff is going to be at the end of the month this month for any uh, sort of custom orders. And he does offer discounts for military, first responders, uh, and teachers, and you can also get discounts if you order three or more items in a bundle. So for more on Sunshine Woodworks, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on SA Live, this new bar is more than its cocktails. We get a taste of Three Star Bar's new menu. And next, we check out Grunt Style. It's an apparel brand specializing in patriotic-focused clothing, perfect for the veterans in your life. Keep it here on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. We have another veteran owned business and we gotta show it off. This is a great one. And this one is an apparel brand specializing in patriotic focused clothing. And the owner of Grunt Style, Tim Jensen, is here to tell us all about it. Welcome, welcome. Well, thanks for having me, guys. It's oh, incredible. Of course, and thank you so much for your service. And a quick happy birthday yesterday. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. 246 <laughs> years. That's right. Summer five, do or die. <laughs> you didn't catch it, he's former Marines. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you yes. come up with this? Yeah. Uh, well, it uh, actually was founded by a former drill sergeant uh, in the Army, and he has you know, come up with this idea of wanting to take this uh, characteristic of what we learn in the military and take that into the civilian world upon his exit from his time in active duty services. And with that, has built this incredible brand of patriotism that celebrates the military lifestyle and what we call the grunt style. Because this, this apparel is about attitude, right? It really is, it really is. And uh, it shares in the American grit of what really we stand for as a country. And that's individualism and, you know, effort and just going every day and putting your best foot forward and overcoming obstacles. And this is a great way, too, to kind of give a, a silent little thank you to mm -hmm. all the, the folks in uniform because they see something that says grunt style on it and they're going to kind of know it's like, oh, you know, hey, here's a shout out to y'all. Oh, absolutely. Right? I think one or two things are going to happen when you see another individual wearing a grunt style shirt is you're going to give a silent nod or you're going to walk over and have a conversation. <laughs> and so you've got these products here, but tell us about this this book in front of you. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, I see a common theme here. Uh, this book was illustrated and uh, uh, written by myself on Roy Benavidez, a local town hero here, and uh, one of the most incredible individuals that has a, had an impact on my life and learning about his story in Vietnam and uh, what he has done since then in, in the community, uh, here in San Antonio and the you know the love that he has had for our military. And when folks purchase these products, I mean, it it goes to a good cause, right? It really does. Um, you know, we give back so much to our community because it really means a lot to us. So much so that we've just recently stood up our Grunt Style Foundation, which is focused on four pillars, mental health and wellness, uh, veteran transition and sustainment, um, food insecurities with an active duty and veteran homelessness. And you were recognized uh, by the San Antonio Business Journal as the 2021 Veteran in Business Awards honoree. That's quite a, quite a nice honor. Yeah, it's uh, it's, I'm still, you know, not, I'm still a little taken aback by it. Yeah. I'm never in my wildest dreams would I believe this. I, you know, I started out at Grunt Style folding t-shirts and you know, I've been given this incredible opportunity through some incredible people that have allowed this to happen. And here I am and I'm just hoping to, to continue to bring forth to our community and do great things for the veteran. 
and here in Military City, USA. Absolutely. You know, I've uh, recently moved here from Chicago. I like to say liberated from the state of <laughs> Illinois. Uh, we've been here in San Antonio for four years now, and it has been the greatest experience that I can possibly have done for my family. I've got uh, a wife and three children, and I'm just blessed uh, to be in this community of, of uh, retired and active duty warfighters and military members, and you know the beautiful people that uh, you know, surround us as well. And also the artist that uh, you're involved with, is a former military person himself, right? Ghost? Absolutely. Ghost is an incredible individual. You may have seen his stuff around the city if you have it. Go and check it out. He is absolutely incredible. And come to our building at 900 Broadway. He has uh, done a lot of the murals inside there. We'd love to give tours to show his work off. And we are doing something very special with the company right now, uh, highlighting veterans that are doing incredible things within their community. And he has put together three great paintings that we have put into shirt form and, and to really celebrate what he is doing and the, the uh, love that he has for our community and love of country. All right, Tim Jensen, thank you so much. So folks can order online, right? Absolutely. Okay. Or come out and check us out or like, check out any of our retail places across the United States. All right. Thank you very much. And for your service, sir. Thank you very much. For more information on Grunt Style, all you have to do is head on over to our website, salive.com, where we've provided a link. A little bit later on in the show, many businesses in San Antonio are honoring our veterans with discounts and freebies. We put together a list of fun things veterans can do today and throughout the year. Plus, November is Alzheimer's Disease Awareness Month, but how can you tell if it's Alzheimer's or something else? That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, millions of Americans live with Alzheimer's disease and November is Alzheimer's Disease Awareness Month, but many more have other forms of dementia or confusion and it's important to understand what might be contributing to it. Here to tell us more is Dr. Katherine Whiteley, University Health Medical Director for the Southwest Region. Thank you so much for being here today. Let's talk about some of the beginning signs of Alzheimer's and how to notice them. Dementia is a very slow decline. It's not something that you see from month to month. So it's, it's a progression where the family will say, well, I told you to go do this. Why didn't you go do that? Or you forgot to add the salt to the spaghetti. What happened? And so the family will notice before the patient will ever notice. And so it's usually the family member that will bring somebody in. Maybe they made a mistake balancing their checkbook. Maybe the math is wrong. So they have trouble with short-term memory loss, but as well as what we call cognitive function. So it's the ab ability to perform complex tasks. Okay, and like you just said, it's that the person suffering from it isn't gonna really be aware, isn't going to notice it. So it's important for caregivers to kind of notice that. What can folks do if they have a parent, relative, or friend who's showing some of these signs? The best thing that a family member or a caregiver can do is bring the person in to be evaluated. There are a lot of different types of dementia, and actually Alzheimer's is only 60 to 80 percent of dementia. There are other kinds of dementia, especially from a history of stroke. High blood pressure can cause, uh, which is uncontrolled, can cause confusion in dementia. Diabetes uncontrolled can cause confusion. There are conditions called delirium. We have to make sure there's nothing acute going on. It is very important for the family member to bring that person in so that we can do an evaluation. All right, so we have you know just about a minute left. Um, it's really just important for caregivers just to be aware and vigilant, right? Yes, the family is very, very important. And it's actually Alzheimer's patients forgot that they forgot anything. So they, they're not even aware that they don't know what they used to know. The burden is on the family. The family has to be patient. They have to learn to take breaks they need to understand that they may say the same thing 10 times, it doesn't matter, they forgot that they forgot anything and it's like you're telling them for the first time. So the frustration is with the family. It is very key that the family learns to recognize that and to take breaks when they need to. So that's what folks can do is bring them, bring them in. Yes. What happens at that point? What kind of tests should they expect? We'll do a physical exam. We evaluate for depression. COVID has caused a lot of depression in our elders. Uh, they spent a lot of time by themselves living alone. So we look for signs of depression. We do what's called a mini mental status exam to, te to check cognitive function, but we also do blood work. We'll check a blood count for anemia. We check for vitamin deficiencies like B12. And we also do a CAT scan of the head, and if we need to, to look for what we call brain atrophy. 
All right, Dr. Whiteley, thank you so much for all that information. Here's the uh, information you need on your screen. Just call 210-358-4000, that's University Health, or you can visit their website, universityhealthsystem.com. Once again, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Whiteley. Thank you. Still to come, artists, musicians, and other local talents come together this weekend for Luminaria Contemporary Arts Festival. We're gonna give you a preview of what to expect. And up next, original recipes from Chef Josh Calderon of the new Three Star Bar. We can't wait to try this elevated menu and trip down memory lane for Mike. Yeah, we're dancing because oh, we can see the food that's just put out here. Ooh, 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 Welcome back to SA Live. This is not your usual bar menu. Mm, no, Three Star Bar is a new bar off of Grayson Street that has cocktails and food to boast about. And joining us right now is executive chef Josh Calderon hello, to give hello. us a wonderful taste of the menu. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, before we get to cooking here, so tell us about the concept of this place. So, th so Three Star Bar, it came out of a concept of, you know, after everything with COVID and everything, um, you know, everyone was trying to shoot up here and we realized that everyone wants something they recognize, something that they want more homey and everything. So we d came up with the name Three Star Bar. Not shooting for five stars, but mediocrity <laughs> all the way through. Um, you know, just simple, what people enjoy, what people recognize, uh, which goes completely into our interior design, wood paneling, um, old trophies, old beer cans we've all collected through our, our childhood. Um, Cause this, you know, this, this kind of, it, remi a, it reminds you of. Of, of the, house, the houses that we grew up, me and my business partners grew up in our neighborhoods and stuff, wood paneling, grandma's house, dad's house, everything like that. So we, yeah. so we decided to get, make the okay as He's dad bar. He's gonna feel so at home there. Uh, here in San Antonio. <laughs> and and that, that's where Three Star Bar came up. All right. I think Could, we have that paneling uh -huh. in our laundry room too, in my dad's <laughs> right. beer can collection. So right. we're starting with the meatballs. Meatballs, yeah. So we have some uh, ho hoagies toasting and some sourdough. Okay. While the meatballs are warming up right uh -huh. there, we will get this nice big piece of mortadella which is, in my opinion, just an adult bologna. Oh my good um, Lord, look where, at that. Where am I putting this? We're gonna in put here. that directly into that frying pan right, right. there. Oh, okay. Yeah. We usually don't use any fat or oil on it. Like a bologna, it has a lot of that naturally in there, so we just kind of let it let it go and let it do its thing. And then I load up the meatballs on here? Yeah, so you're gonna load up the meatballs on there. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Love a meatball sub. And you grew up with your business partners, right? Yes, yes. So we, we actually, we grew up in the same neighborhood. Um, you know, we still make jokes about us playing basketball together at 12 years old and some in my cousin's driveway and everything like that. Um, so yeah, you know, it came uh, back to fruitation of, um, after some, well, we, we, we put all, all five in there. Oh, all five. Yeah, all I'm five, sorry. yes, yes, sorry. yes. What are you doing? Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't <laughs> want to get greedy. You know, so. No, 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 we, we don't skip on portions, as you can tell from the mortadella. And then um, Parmesan on there? Then Parmesan. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's some chopped herbs right there to the back. A little yep. bit of this, okay. Put that on there. And there you go, that's our... Yes, haha. <laughs> that's our meatball sub from Three Star Bar. All right, and then we've got another one. We're another making, one, right? yes. What's so, this one? So this is our mortadella sandwich. Mm -hmm. This has actually become one of our most popular items now. If we could actually flip that mortadella. Okay. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need your hands. And then we could top it with this cheese right here. Oh, here we Pop go. Pop that on there. Okay. Both pieces. Mm -hmm. And then if we could flip that bread while that cheese melts. <laughs> we are keeping them busy over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm earning my key. Man, so. <laughs> yes. Will this be the outside or the inside? It'll be the outside because be it's, it's, okay. it's buttered and everything. And okay. while he's doing that, if yes. you would like to mix yes. these three ingredients, Here? which is right there, yeah, okay, all of which it. Is Dijon. Does this get folded in half? No, or? no, 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 no. It, it hangs out the side. It, it kind of has wings and everything. So oh, when, really? when you eat it, yes. So we're just uh, going like this, right? We're just, we, we'll, we, we will, we will uh, prepare the toast first. We will uh -huh. put on some sauce and okay. pickles and all the goodies. Are you still burning the toast? Over yes. So if we, <laughs> if we want to bring bring the toast over to the the cutting board now. There you go. Okay. And where are you located? You're on Grayson on, We're on the other on, side of Broadway, on right? On 520 East Grayson. Uh, yes, right across the street from Hello Paradise. Um, we are open from 12 or from 3 3 to 2 a.m. Monday through Friday and 12 to 2 a.m. 
Saturday and Sunday um, with TVs, everything to watch your sporting events and everything like that. Just to go down the list on the menu here, sourdough patty melt, the old school, uh, the Italian ham and cheese meatball sub and the fried mortadello. Oh, pie to the day and tres leches I see on there. Yes, so yes. that goes on so there. So all, all our desserts are done by Jen Reisman at Rooster. Yeah, no, no, that's, yeah. that's, that's right. Good. And you were trained at the culinary institute, one. right? Okay. Yeah, so I, I, I started here in San Antonio down at, at the Pearl <laughs> and then transferred to uh, Hyde Park. Their main campus up in Hyde Park. Okay. So then, yeah, we will put that on that meat on one side there, well, and then right. we'll, we'll get a side. good about ten pickles. Ten pickles. And put them put them on on there, spread out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you try mm -hmm. that. I'll try yep. this. Okay. And there we go. There put we that go. other piece on top. Uh huh. And then there's a knife right there in front of my mm. knife, please. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Oh, All right. Good. Cut cut it at an angle. Now, huh? I know, I know. This way? Yep. yep. Okay. The, um, the, the great toast debate. Well, <laughs> the I, great toast cut, debate. Right? No, I like it in triangles. <laughs> okay, now you were trained at CIA, right? CIA, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So I'm, right. a, I'm a, a graduate from here down at the, at the Pearl. And then, like I said, I went up to uh, New York and finished and got my bachelor's at their, okay. at their main campus. Okay. In, All right. Information. Mm -hmm. And again, it's right there on Grayson, on the other side mm -hmm. of Broadway. Head over to SALive.com oh. and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right. Mm. Still ahead, we share a list of places around the Alamo City that are offering discounts and freebies for veterans. But Plus, first, we get a glance at what you can expect from Luminaria Contemporary Arts Festival as I talk with my mouth while I apologize. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, there are so many events going on this weekend. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. And one of the events includes the return of the Luminaria Arts Festival. Yes, it's known as the most prominent art festival in South Texas and will take over Hemisphere and the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center Saturday. And our Jen Tobias Trusky has a preview. This year, Luminaria 2021 is our welcome back to the arts, right? We're excited that now we can get back out there, we can be in this large mass gathering of people that want to celebrate and enjoy the art. And also because it was a pandemic year and our artistic community suffered so much, we wanted to focus on our local artists and support them. This year, more than 150 artists will be featured at Luminaria. Famed actor and San Antonio native Jesse Borrego serves as the honorary curatorial committee chair of the festival, meant to highlight all the artistic talents here in South Texas. We're all just, you know, lovers of, of the San Antonio arts culture, and we just want to bring it to the community that has always supported us and really enjoyed the artwork from dance music, theater, live music. Uh, we'll have two different stages. We'll have a film stage and just tons of art installations throughout. You just have to come out and see it. While excitement is looming, there was a big scare when the piece Breath of a Serpent was stolen this week. It has been recovered and they hope to be ready to shine this weekend. Of the serpent, you know, they're, they came together just for this project. So it's going to be a beautiful, inspiring piece. Here's what you need to know if you're heading to Luminaria. Categories include music, art installations, fashion and poetry, among other things. Food and drink vendors will be on hand and the festival starts it's at 6 p.m. till midnight. And they're all here, they're all local. So, you know, we're, we're, we're shining the spotlight on all this amazing talent. You're not gonna be disappointed. Again, Luminaria is this Saturday from 6 to midnight. Keep in mind, there's also a big UTSA game that day, so it's gonna be busy there in downtown. 
Yep, some of the highlights to look out for, the legendary Flaco Jimenez is going to be there, and one of our favorite guests, Rob the Original. He also has an art installation there, so go to salive.com for all the information and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, of course, we love all of our veterans here in Military City, USA, and to show you how much we have put together a list, and it's a long <laughs> list, too, of freebies service members can enjoy. All right, Scooter's Coffee is energizing service members and will honor at veterans today with a free drink treat of any size. Veterans can present their military ID at participating Scooter's Coffee locations to enjoy any delicious hot, iced, or blended drink of their choosing. SeaWorld San Antonio has lots to enjoy for veterans and their families, from watching sea life, animal shows, roller coaster rides, and special exhibits, and SeaWorld salutes those who serve through their Waves of Honor program. SeaWorld San Antonio offers active duty military members one complimentary admission per year with three dependents. Morgan's Wonderland offers a $6 military discount on all admission tickets, so you can take the kids out to enjoy a day in the Sensory Village, Butterfly Playground, the Wonderland Express, and so much more. At the San Antonio Botanical Garden, active duty military get $2 off admission tickets. The Botanical Garden is open year round and is a 38 acre living museum. They've got many seasonal events, exhibits, and classes to enjoy. At Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, military personnel get a discount off general admission with a valid ID. They have 450 acres that's home to more than 500 different animals. Get military discounts at Six Flags Fiesta Texas at your local ITT or MWR office on a military installation or there is a military discount available at the park ticketing booths at the front of the at the front. You can ride the roller coasters, cool off at the Whitewater Bay or relax at an entertaining show. It is where nature, science, and culture meet. The Witty Museum offers a $10 discount on admission. Present a valid U.S. military ID at the museum admissions desk to receive the discount. Now, while at the museum, you can see their innovative exhibitions, programs, and collections of natural history, science, and South Texas heritage. And again, for more information on all of these great discounts, just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And for more on Veterans Day deals, you know what to do. Head to, uh, to head to ksat.com and look for the Veterans Day freebies and deals article. All right, up next, quick and easy to access free resources and other tools to help with veterans' health. Keep it here on SA Live. Well, AARP salutes the service and sacrifice of America's veterans, active military, and their families. So, just in time for Veterans Day, AARP has a new helpful tool for veterans and military families, making it quick and easy to access free resources. And joining us this afternoon to talk more about it is John Vasquez, who is president of AARP Texas. Good afternoon. Good to see you, John. Great to see you as well. Thank you for having me on. Almost oh, certainly. Okay, so what is the new resource that's all the talk? Well, let me tell you about it. Uh, enrolling in a healthcare plan can be a grueling process, especially when it comes to finding the right information and knowing where to turn for assistance. Uh, this is particularly true when it comes to accessing veterans' health benefits. You can never assume that your eligibility until your uh, major inquiry with the Department of Veteran Affairs or the Department of Defense. And there's also uh, information about how to get those healthcare benefits that might be combined with Medicare and Medicaid options uh, that also need to be learned. There's a new tool that AARP is now launching, a Health Navigator, and you can find it online at aarp.org slash Vets Health Navigator, all, all one word, and, and it's a guidebook. And, and there you can uh, find information that will help veterans and their families and care, caregivers learn more about health benefits that are provided through the VA and the DOD, understand how to apply and enroll in VA healthcare, uh, expand their healthcare options with Medicare and Medicaid, very important, and to identify how to get help uh, you know, to from representatives who have experience and knowledge about the VA benefits process. Okay, so why is this so important right now? Well, we have to understand, uh, there are many veterans out there who are not getting benefits. Uh, nearly 60% of all veterans are eligible for VA health care services, and less than half of those uh, eligible veterans use VA health benefits, according to a recent RAND study. Uh, even before COVID-19, uh, veterans and their families struggled to, uh, with where to begin with deciding the best pass for health care needs, whether it was VA health care, military tri-care, Medicare, 
private insurance, or Medicaid. But with more than 340,000 veterans diagnosed with COVID-19 and almost 15,000 deaths reported by VA medical centers, access to health care is a growing and important concern. Okay, so explain just a little bit further, explain further how this tool really helps. Uh, it helps ARP uh, is the veterans family, uh, uh, the, that navigator, uh, helps families learn about the health care benefits provided through the VA and DOD. Do you understand how to qualify for, apply, and enroll in VA health care, and identify how to get help from representatives who have experience and knowledge uh, of VA process for awarding benefits. In other words, it helps that veteran get access to the type of information they need to make a successful application and know where to apply for their benefits. Okay, well, the check out, uh, you wanna check out the free veterans and military families health benefits navigator at aarp.org slash vets health navigator. And for more information, call 866-227-7443. John, great information, always good chatting with you. Good to chat with you. Thank you very much. And thank you all our veterans for all the work and all the things that you've done for our country. Tomorrow on SA Live, it's National Happy Hour Day. Yes, we're going to show you how to make some tasty bites off the grill and how to add just a little something extra to take it over the top. And happy hour drinks for the whole family. Yep, it's a local spot that only serves one type of drink, but still has something for everyone. And you're going to love it. That and more tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, earlier we asked you to share the pictures of veterans in your life. And Jessica shares this one. Happy Veterans Day, Dad. And to all the veterans out there, thank you for your service. And from Maria Jose Alberto Garcia, Army veteran. And this one is from Veronica. This is her father who served in the Korean War. Veronica, also our son currently serving in the U.S. Navy stationed in Japan. Aww. This is from Lisa Ann. This is her dad, Edward Herrera, and her uncle, Jesse Herrera. And Jacob, happy Veterans Day to Miss Los Pose. And this is Perla. This is her husband, Staff Sergeant General Rodrigo uh, Rodriguez, retired veteran, U.S. Army. And another one from Criselda, my husband, veteran Eugene Gonzalez, Gonzalez, pardon me. This one is from Kim. Oh, this is Kim. Circa 1984 as a U.S. Army Sergeant. Thank you for your service, Kim. And last but not least, my dad, U.S. Navy, World War II in the Philippines, Greg. My dad in the Navy. My grandfather, by the way, was in World War I. Wow. Guarded the White House. Yes, indeed. Very Thank cool. you, veterans. Mm -hmm.